Yesterday I had an issue with the upload. I don't know what happened, but the end of the video got cut off when we went to Up Garage. Really cool place. So today, essentially what I'm gonna do, I'm going to do kind of like a walk around of my Cresta. And then I'm gonna show you that footage because the way that it is right now, I have to stay up super, super late to get the video on time for an upload. So that way the walk around will like buy me a day of time. So like we're still gonna film drifting today, but you guys won't see that until tomorrow. So enjoy the footage and I will be happy. Bye. All right guys, so I'm gonna do a quick walk around of my Ebisu car that I have here at Japan. It is a JZX100 Cresta. So if you're familiar with the Chaser, it's just kind of like the baller edition. Um, you can tell it looks a little more VIP, whatever. Uh, my favorite part about the car, definitely the interior, so I'm gonna start with that. It's got these sweet Recaro seats. I have, of course, my uh, Garage Moon Power collab floor mats. It's got Defi gauges all aligned in the dash. Door cards are super clean. Uh, this isn't wrap, so I don't know if this is aftermarket trim or what the heck it is, but it looks cool. I don't know if it's stock. It's just such a clean car, especially for an Ebisu car. So it's got a Nardi wheel. Um, it's got a cage, not like a crazy cage like my car. There's no door bars, but it also doesn't have proper padding, so you don't want to hit your head on this. It's got a boost gauge up here. I don't know. It just, it looks really, really nice. I love the interior on this car. It's super clean. The wheels aren't really anything special. Wheels get destroyed here though at Ebisu, so that's fine. We don't really care. Right now in the back, they're like 235s and 225s in the front, but I'll probably go to 235s, 17 inch wheels. It's an okay looking car. Some people love them. I think the rear end looks a little funky. The front definitely looks cool though, especially with all the camber that it has. Best part about this car though is what is underneath the hood. Obviously not as clean as the swap that we just did in Nicole's car because it's bone stock and probably never been touched. But uh, JZX 100s come with a 1JZ. It's the VVTi version, so it's a single turbo. It's still stock turbo, stock ECU, stock boost. Feels a little bit slower than Nicole's car, but that's probably just because of the added weight. There's a lot of cool little random JDM goodies in here. So like vertex cap here, vertex cap up here. It's got a vertex engine damper. Pretty sure the metal upper radiator hose is like an aftermarket thing. There's this aftermarket spark plug cover and intake. I'm gonna go ahead and assume that this car doesn't come with a front mount intercooler, so it's aftermarket piping. A decent looking front mount. Battery that we had to kind of get our rig in place. And believe it or not, when we were looking at the pictures, Taylor actually noticed that this car has two-way adjustable coilovers, which are like crazy expensive. Do I notice a difference? Not really. The car has two-way coilovers. It also has uh, aftermarket lower control arms aftermarket tie rods, so it does get quite a bit of angle. I have a list of some of the other stuff you can't really see, um, since I obviously don't know, I just got this car. It has Project Move front and rear pads, aftermarket tie rods, a super single clutch. It sounds like a twin disc, it like rattles a lot, but it feels nice. It has an aftermarket LSD that basically feels like a welded diff. It has an aftermarket rear stabilizer, strut, brace, whatever you want to call it. No idea what the exhaust is, but it's catless or it has a D-cat, as they like to call it here. Other than that, it just has an oil cooler kit. Pretty dang basic, but for a car out here, it's like perfect for Ebisu. It seems to be reliable thus far. Uh, looks decent, very clean body, which kind of makes me feel guilty just in case I scuff it up a bit, but that's what happens here out at Ebisu. Cars come here to die. Now you do have the option at Ebisu of selling your car back when you're done with it and then like you kind of lose a percentage because you obviously use the car and everything and that's just how they make money. But I will probably end up keeping this car here. It's about like 50 bucks a month and then that way I can come back probably in the fall, who knows, and I will have the car here and then I will have to buy another car and I have a sweet Ebisu car. So I hope you guys like my JZX100. It's definitely a fun car. Who knows, by the end of the week I might add like a boost controller or something to it just to get a little more fun. But uh, now I guess we'll just resume with the day. Now we're going to a place called Up Garage, which essentially is like a Craigslist auto parts store. Not Craigslist, but it's like used parts that they resell. And people always freak out because there's like, oh, there's so much cheap JDM stuff. But apparently it's really not that cheap and the selection isn't as good as you'd think. But there's not like one Up Garage because that's what I thought. They're just all over, like it's a chain. So we made it to Up Garage. Check out this Cresta. This is like the older version of my car here. Looks so cool. Look at the wall of wheels. Well, we gotta get a picture somewhere. What are those? <laughs> I'm jealous Taylor claimed these wheels before me. I got admins from the front of my chase for, for 200 bucks. I'm really jealous. I would have liked these. I thought that was it. Oh my gosh. There's works. This is wild. Coilovers laying on the ground. It's crazy. Steering wheels. 
everything you can imagine here. Yes, 100. <laughs> uh, mine, I probably wouldn't fit mine though. No, it'd be different. Ah, oh, it's so crazy. 150 bucks for this sweet Recaro. It's like a $500 seat. <laughs> That's so nice. It's like suede, isn't it? Yeah. Oh my god. It's... Oh, look at all the rails too. Gosh. Do you can like fully mod a car out just by coming here. <laughs> Lug nuts and spacers. Can you buy turbos and intercoolers? This is so cool. Oh, these are those super expensive uh, filters. No, that's, not, that's the RB26 upgrade. Oh, the HKS one. Yeah, it's so the, oh, it's still $179. That's really expensive. Yeah. And don't these ones suck because it sucks in the filter anyway? Yep. So we can only buy two wheels. I might get the matching wheels that go with these. They're just like twice the price because they don't have the curb marks, which sucks because I'd much rather have these ones. But oh well. Watch your hands. Okay. Taylor, do you think this place has wheels too? I don't know. When we were driving, I saw like wheels in the distance, so I made them pull over at a place, but they were just new wheels. Adam wants wheels. Adam needs drift spares. I got lucky. The food like comes on a conveyor belt or something? Yeah. This is so weird. What? This is the most cool thing I've ever seen. So can you just like pull whatever you want off the conveyor belt or do you have to order yeah, it? So if it's, if it's not on an elevated platform, so if it's just like flat on the thing, they've just made it at random so you can pull it off. I kind of want those pineapples. But then if you order something, it'll come on like a thing. I mean, just before it arrives, this thing will say like if it's arriving. And it'll take it off. This is so cool. So Look at all these plates, all this food that we killed. This is all sushi, like really good sushi too, most and, of it. And it came out to $11 a piece. For the record, I didn't eat any sushi because yeah. I'm a wimp. Because you're a little girl. I'll try it before the end of the trip though, I'll try it. The way that the signs are here, it like trips you out because all the writing is so close together. I don't know, it's weird. Everything just, so cool. All right, let's find the peanut butter. I love these Pocky things. I was able to communicate enough to figure out how to get a microfiber towel and glass cleaner, so I'm stoked. Now I can have clean windows. So this is our room at the lodge, right by Abasu. Check it out, they have a bunk upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> this is tight. So for our first day, um, we had a bit of like car issues, still trying to just get the setup dialed in. Uh, this will be our last combined video most likely since you're yeah. getting your car tomorrow. Yeah, I'm going to start my videos tomorrow. Picked up a set of Advan wheels for my car. I have I'm, a JZX 90 with Advan wheels in Japan. How cool is that? I might get the other set of Advans if uh, I decide to. I don't know. We'll see. Um, we'll see. Go subscribe to Taylor's channel so you can see the stuff that he's going to be uploading. It's going to be really exciting. I just spent a lot of money, like all my money, but it's worth it because we're in Japan and we're going to go drifting at Ebisu for a week, two weeks. And we both have 1J sedans. We have 1J sedans in Japan that we're just going to like hop way around. It, oh, I, I've been like a little schoolgirl this whole trip. We could not be doing this without you guys, so thank you so much. Oh, I hope you're going to be enjoying these videos. They're going to be a lot of fun. Tomorrow should be good. We should be starting to get like our bearings and everything, so uh, we'll see you then. Thank you guys. Goodbye. Yeah, you don't want to get your bearings in tomorrow. Like You should keep those in the motor. <laughs> Why do you say that? <laughs>